Hi, CP Chemistry. So I am uh, making this video to show you my example of the weekly project. So here is my example. Um, this is not the reaction that you are doing. All right, I gave you the reaction between, uh, I believe it was zinc and copper oxide. It's listed in the problem. And that reaction is also a mini thermite reaction. So that will kind of help you out. Uh, but so you want to represent it. So there's a couple of questions what I'm asking you to do. All right. I want you to show me, I want you to represent that chemical reaction according to the collision model and the transition state model. So what we can see in this example, we have that potential energy versus reaction progress graph, right? With that um, typical hill shape. So that's the transition state. And we can see the individual molecules. So I did N2O plus NO, all right? I did nitrogen in red and oxygen in blue. And I'm representing those two atoms as just like our individual little balls, right? Think about like John Dalton, billiard ball model. Still, still works for us, all right? Uh, but because they're molecules, right? N2O, it's red, red, blue. And NO, it's red, uh, red, blue. And so that's where they're at when they are reactants. All right, and then when we get to that transition state, that's the same as the collision, all right? So at the collision, I can see them hitting each other, and then I make the products, and I make two new products, right? So I make N2 and I make NO2, all right? So they have collided, right? They were reactants, they collided, they hit the transition state, now they're products. Because I'm representing the reactants higher than the products, this is an exothermic reaction. All right, so for the reaction you're doing, you're gonna to wanna to look it up and determine if it's an exo or endothermic reaction and have the appropriate relative heights. Um, the transition state is higher, so that's important. All right, so this is an example of what I'm looking for. This is what I mean when I say you're gonna represent the collision model and the transition state. And I wanna show you how I would grade it. So if I go to the rubric, right? There's going to be five parts and they're going to all be graded six through three. All right. So it's 30 possible points. The energy profile, the atoms and collision, the visuals, the promptness, and the improper collision. All right. So again, if I were grading this example, all right, the energy profile, energy profile shows reactants, transition state, and products at proper relative heights. Definitely it's good. All right, I would not give it a fair or a poor for my example because it's not missing anything. Would I give it the excellent? All right, did I go above and beyond? Maybe, all right, maybe there's a little more detail I could have added. Um, I, I wrote out, I, I labeled the potential energy and the reaction progress, so that's good. All right, um, I'm just looking for some extras there, right? So, but I would definitely give it a good, so it would definitely get a five. And there's a lot of simple ways you can move that to a six. So you have to be creative there. You have to think about all of the other stuff that's discussed in the videos. Um, so many different ways you can move into that excellent category. All right, the atoms and collisions. Reactants, products, and collisions are shown in proper orientation. All right, I showed that, right? And including the transition state, that should be there. All right, I wouldn't have to give it a fair, I wouldn't give it a poor, right? It's not incomplete, it's not missing any pieces there. All right, so, so far two fives again. Um, you know, I showed the reactants coming towards each other, I showed the products moving away, so maybe that would move me into that excellent category again. Maybe some other things you can add, pictures of what the reaction looks like, stuff like that will move you over. All right, visuals. Profile and atoms are neat and in color, all right? Um, I actually might give myself a fair here. I, I don't think I was that neat. So hopefully you can be neater than me. So I would go five, five, four. All right. Um, and again, adding more visual to it is only going to move you up into that excellent category. So it's how much you care about it, how much time you're willing to spend. All right. The promptness turned in by May 27th, uh, March 27th, excuse me. <laughs> hopefully we're back in school by May 27th. I don't know. All right. Uh, well, right now it's March 24th. So if I had turned this in today, I would certainly be in that excellent category. So get this in early. Don't wait too long. All right. And lastly, the improper collision. Did I show it in my example? Not at all. 
All right, you have to show it's gonna be separate. It's not gonna be on the graph. It could be on a separate sheet of paper. It could be underneath it if you're doing it all on one page. If you're doing it in slides, it could be a separate slide. Um, that would be a collision where the orientation is not correct. So again, if I'm looking at the orientation, here the NO is hitting the oxygen of the N2O. If it hit it on the other side, right, if two of the nitrogens collided with each other, that would not result in a reaction. So I can draw that. All right, so. So again, um, that's not there. I would be giving myself the port. Improper collision is not properly displayed. So for my example, I would go five, five, four, six, three. And I would be getting a 23 out of 30. All right, that's just shy of a B. And that was a quick example that I put together. So for you, um, hopefully now you have an understanding of what I'm looking for in the project and how you can make it better. So you can get a really good grade on this and you can turn it in early this week so that you can get you know the most points for it. All right, so uh, best of luck, everyone. All right, if you have something and you're unsure of it, send me a picture of it, all right? But don't just send me a question asking me, how do I do it? Because I will literally just send you this video and you won't even know that that happened until you get to this point in the video because that means you probably didn't watch the video on the first time, all right? So watch the video.